Field and Stream presents the 2008 Heroes of Conservation. We've selected six finalists and Toyota Motors will award $5,000 to each hero and a new 2008 Tundra to the winner in September. Hi, I'm Colin Kearns, Senior Editor of Field and Stream. We're on the banks of the Mississippi with Heroes of Conservation finalist, Chad Pergracki. Working 24-7 to save one of our national treasures, Chad started the Living Lands and Waters organization to save and restore the mighty Mississippi from trash and debris. Chad's organization works on many miles of the Mississippi from Illinois to Iowa. Today we're gonna to see Chad at his finest, leading his crew and a group of volunteers on a river cleanup in Burlington, Iowa. Watching Chad in action shows his undying determination and how he inspires others to champion his cause. Can you tell me a bit about the game plan right before a cleanup? The barge arrives, we take our plate boats out, we go scout out these different areas, load up life jackets, shovels, bags, water, just have everything set. Volunteer work, I know, is huge with, with what you do. Give me an idea of how many people come out to participate. Anywhere from three to 5,000 a year. I really appreciate you guys coming out here today. Recent floodings brought a lot of stuff in. So let's go out there and work hard and make it a safe day, make it a fun day. You sound good? So let's do it, yeah! All right, yeah! It's on, dude. We're gonna make it happen. We're cleaning up about a 20-mile stretch. Should be a good day. We had a lot of boats show up. I think we'll have quite a bit by the day's end. You guys have somewhat of a competition to keep things oh, interesting? There's definitely a little uh, high spirit of competition. Who can get the bigger boatload? When you get a lot of people coming together for a common cause, people are usually going to have fun. Working with Chad is entertaining. <laughs> How many points is that refrigerator? Ooh, it's, it could be worth a lot. I need a veterinarian right now, right now, because my pythons are sick. That was a joke. Yes. Walking through here and seeing a lot less garbage than we did 10 years ago, when I say a lot less, I mean it was hard to walk 10 feet without seeing something and having to pick it up. You don't know what you're going to find. Another fridge, another day, I guess. 701. Bingo. Bam. The crew I work with, you know, I don't really don't need to keep motivated. They are just motivated. Get out in the woods and get out to nature a little bit and help make it look pretty again. The prime example, again, of how one person can make a difference. If I come back to an area and see it dirty, no, it really doesn't discourage me just because I know that it would be twice as dirty if we hadn't been there before. Of course, you know we're having the big award party this September, and you might just be able to come back to Illinois in a brand new Toyota Tundra. How cool would that be? Dude, big pimpin'. That'd be sweet. That'd be sweet. Field and Stream is proud to have Chad Pergracki as one of our six finalists in the Heroes of Conservation. Chad's hard work preserving the Mississippi River will surely be noticed by communities throughout the Midwest and inspire others to get involved. That was ridiculous. It does sneak in there. It's bad. Good times.